Hello guys, it's Hunter Knight. Today we're gonna take a look at the brand new Defenders of Asgard Marvel Legends series. Actually, this is a Marvel freaking universe, okay? I don't know why they call it Marvel Legends, which is it's very confusing, but this is Marvel Universe, okay? The little 3.75 inch tall figures. Okay, yeah, that review. This video is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store. Shop a great selection of action figures and more at BigBadToyStore.com Welcome to another review and thanks for watching guys. Finally we get to see these figures that have been announced so for so long. I saw the prototype of San Diego Comic Con and well, okay, let's take a look at the package. Here you can see Thor nicely packed in with uh, the female Thor. Spoiler alert, freaking Jane Foster, alright? If you have, if you, I mean, I don't read comics and I know. So uh, if you didn't know, now you know. Alright, Defenders of Asgard here on the front. It actually comes with a nice uh, comic book here that says uh, Special Edition of the Mighty Thor. Plus on the front we can see the new branding for the line which is Marvel Legends series. So that's gonna, that's gonna create a lot of confusion. But yeah, these are Marvel Universe, alright? Yeah, that's the front and same on the back. You can see the same Legends series logo and some readout here. This being kind of like a staple on all Marvel, Marvel Universe and Marvel Legends products is a nice Photoshop image of, you know, with all shadows and dramatic posing. Down here you can see all the other figures in the line. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna pick any of them because they're crappy. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not gonna pick them up. They're crappy. They don't have articulation. They're like completely uh, rejects. I will not even buy that. You can see the, oh, the UPC underneath. There's nothing, just a little stuff. Alright, so now let's open this package and find out what the fuck is all about! Come on! And here they are, out of the freaking package, and I gotta say, it's actually good. I was uh, pleasantly surprised. So let's go first with uh, Odinson. At first glance, we can see Odinson. Well, this is Thor, but it's Odinson. Okay, they call him Odinson in the package, okay, whatever. The face is hideous. Look at this freaking face. Oh my god, he's just... Ugh, what the hell? And he's supposed to have a beard, okay? He's supposed to have a... Where, what happened with the beard? The cape is supposed to be blue. And it's red, okay, it has this dead animal pelt, which is a very nice detail. Uh, it's a very nice touch, I think it's a wolf. You kill a wolf, bro. Come on. Wolf is the sigil of freaking House of Hunter Knight. You kill a wolf, man. Alright, that takes points away from you. And you can see the whole body is just one single piece. Horrible. Horrible, no articulation in there. Uh, let's just remove this. No articulation, but this this part is sculpted. I mean, I gotta give it to Hasbro. They just uh, they actually sculpted this. We usually paint it and reuse it, but yeah, they actually sculpted the detail here. Uh, the head is on a bolt. The the head is on this thing. Okay, so uh, whatever. Uh, the cape does is is not glued. It's just rest there. Uh, the articulation on the arms is like uh, it has a yeah, it's stiff and has that. The, the, the elbow rotates and bends, but it doesn't have a wrist cut. The um, wrist thing is are painted, as you can see. Same with the arm. That's where he. Uh, this actually where he pulls up. I think the name of this axe is Jumpyorn, Jumpyorn, or whatever. You can see the nice detail. Very good, very good. And he holds it here. And he holds it well. It can also be stored here. Looks kind of weird and very actually dangerous because you can like hey, blah, 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 and cut a, cut your wrist. But hey, anyway, these guys are superheroes. So. Now the sash actually doesn't go anywhere, and why? It's because it's a miracle. Now, actually, they did something very good. It's, it attached here, and there's a hole in the back, and that's where the sash goes and it keeps it in place. Thank you, because I hate those floppy freaking belts that go everywhere. Uh, the legs, just take it apart. Nah. The legs, he has a very good detail here, and he has a good dry brush, it doesn't have a cut, double articulation as you can see, dry brush on the, this guard, very nice, and ankle rocker. And now we go with the icing of the cake, Jane Foster Thor, this is the figure that I was actually really wanting, I don't really care for this guy, this is the figure I wanted, let's go with a nice head sculpt, look at that, very beautiful. Shapes are perfect, angles, angles are perfect, uh, flexible ears, and actually, he goes up and down. It's a hinge. It's a hinge here, my god. And a ball joint. Let me, let me just see if I can take it about. Yeah, here we go. You see? Ah! This is a hand-me-down from the Valkyrie mold, which is good. This part is supposed to be part of the armor, but they made it part of the cape, okay. 
it's a bit loose, it doesn't, it's not attached anywhere. The cape is uh, made of flexible plastic, as well as the hair. Yeah, it doesn't really restrict any articulation at all. Very good, very good engineering. This is actually the Valkyrie body, but they use a different uh, arm here. This, this section of the arms are, is brand new because it doesn't have the wrist articulation. It lost the wrist articulation of the Valkyrie mold. You see Valkyrie here? It's the same exact mold, except for this part, because it has a guard here. But look at that. Uh, very good, and they're about the same size, so yeah. Yeah, rotation of the shoulders, everything there, bicep, double jointed elbow, look at that, this is what we like, this is what we want. We also have hey, hey, diaphragm articulation, which doubles for the um, the waist articulation, which she doesn't have. It's very welcome, thank you for uh, having mercy on this figure and give her decent articulation. The sash, you can see the sash is uh, very nice in detail, uh, same here, it has like skull, the flow of the fabric and it's flexible now the legs, we can see that she has thigh cuts look at that, she has thigh cuts, very nice double jointed knees oh these parts are also brand new this is a brand new sculpt, all these wraps which don't have, they're, they're just solid plastic they don't have any details or washes or dry brushes on it but it's nice uh, we have this uh, the wings we wear they're going everywhere they're not secure but yeah you can pull you got some uh, nice glue and freeze in place feet move uh, uh, up and down and he has an ankle rocker she comes with her Mjolnir and it's actually it's a recycled Mjolnir but it's, it's good because I like this Mjolnir because he has all the nice uh, scriptures scribes, scriptures in there very good she actually holds it uh, pretty decently yeah, there we go. Very nice. <gasps> Must always be a Thor. Now the pack comes with this uh, comic book, which is mostly an origin story, okay? It's the origin story of uh, how Jane Foster, I mean Thor, you know, couldn't lift the freaking hammer, okay? And um, yeah, how Jane comes and you see the she here. That's what I was talking about. She be worthy, you know? But, uh, and that's how she picks the hammer, and that's where it ends, and where you should, uh, that's why you should buy the continuation or whatever it is. And uh, it's a basically, you know, it's, it's a bait. This is a bait issue, so you can, like, look for the rest of the comic. This is a very good introductory, uh, issue for people that don't know, you know, what they're getting. In conclusion, I cannot recommend this pack enough. This is a pack you want to buy. Jane Foster is beautiful, it's nearly perfect. I mean, if that's the way Hasbro will go with their females, I'm totally on board. If you, they have to just lose the wrist articulation, I'm all for it. Thor is messed up, he has a bad face, you know? Uh, the axe is very well made, the cape with the dead wolf, yeah, it's very well made too. They're hitting stores. Uh, pretty much, I mean, I found this, this pack at Target. Um, but if you don't want to do the hunt, I have some links on the description where you can purchase this uh, this and the other comic packs if you're a masochist, uh, you know, or a completist. Although, at, at this point, I don't think there's anybody that is a completist in the Marvel Universe. Alright, and here is with my little Funko Jane Foster. I like it. So cool. Yeah, you go somewhere else. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, thank you guys for checking my review. All right. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. This is Hunter Knight signing out. Wasn't that fun? Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to visit the Toy and Pop Culture feed for the latest toy news. Thank you. Impressive. Impressive.